I'm Donna Bell. And I'm Darren Elizaris. And we want to welcome you to This Week in the Valley. Let's meet some people who are making a real difference in our community and learn about events taking place right here in our own backyard. We have a great show for you and joining us a bit later are Father Dave, Carrie Kemker, and Philip Brooks with Immaculate Conception School, Rick Shoemaker with Rick's Service and Tire and some of his customers, and Kim Kendrick, Branch Manager and Vice President with Regional Missouri Bank. Monday, January 19th is the day across the nation that we observe Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. During the less than 13 years of his leadership of the modern American civil, civil rights movement, African Americans achieved more genuine progress toward racial equality in America than the previous 350 years had produced. Dr. King is widely regarded as America's preeminent advocate of nonviolence and one of the greatest nonviolent leaders in history. Drawing inspiration from both his Christian faith and the peaceful teachings of Gandhi, Dr. King led a nonviolent movement in the late 1950s and 60s to achieve legal equality for African Americans in the U.S. While others were advocating for freedom by any means necessary, including violence, Dr. King used the power of words and acts of nonviolent uh, re resistance, such as protests, grassroots organizing, and civil disobedience, to achieve seemingly impossible goals. At age 39, Dr. King was assassinated, but he left a legacy of hope and inspiration that continues today. Dr. King once said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? As we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we also celebrate a day of service. Together we can honor Dr. King's legacy by volunteering our time. Serving is one way to build the community that Dr. King spoke of in his re historic remarks. As we celebrate Martin Luther King's life and dedication to the advancement of civil rights, equality, and freedom, we look to renew our own commitment to these ideals throughout our community and what we do in service to others. Catholic schools are right in line with Dr. King's teachings. Next week, Catholic Schools Week is celebrated across the country. The, this year's theme is Catholic Schools, Communities of Faith, Knowledge, and Service. We join our first guest, Father Dave, pastor of Immaculate Conception Church here in Macon, Carrie Kempker, school advisory board chair and student council president, Philip Brooks, at Immaculate Conception School to talk more about what Catholic Schools Week is all about. Uh, we're really excited, especially this year, to celebrate uh, as it is our 90th anniversary uh, as a school. So the parish has been around for a while, but we started the school in 1924 with uh, Father Barrett. And so especially now, it's great for us to celebrate the opportunity to have Catholic schools, uh, to celebrate Catholic education, so that we're not just educating children, but able to live out our faith and hand that on to them uh, and let them experience that for themselves. Um, and so there's a, a lot of things we'll be doing for Catholic Schools Week, and I'll talk about that in just a few moments. Uh, but as we've started our 90th year uh, at our school, I'm really excited to say that this year we instituted a student council. And I'm happy to have uh, Philip Brooks, the president of the student council, elected by the student body, uh, the first one ever in the history of our school, to talk a little bit about his experience of uh, student council and some of the ideas that they've put together uh, and excitement uh, for our school, not just for Catholic Schools Week, but just to give some input to the school uh, as a whole. The way student council works, we have four officers from the president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary, and a representative from each grade. And some of the ideas we've come up with so far uh, for Catholic Schools Week are having like a Bible character day. Uh, one thing I'm looking forward to is the roller skating. That's probably my favorite thing. And the other days are all fun too, though. Yeah, they take a little bit of time out of their school day. They actually meet before school starts. They've made a commitment to that uh, from kindergarten through eighth grade. And uh, Philip's their fearful leader, as one of my one of my professors used to make a pun. Uh, so along with us, speaking of fearful leaders, is uh, Carrie Kempker, who is just elected for this year as our chair of our school advisory board. Uh, Carrie also uh, went to school here and has a student here. So Carrie, if you can talk to us a little bit about Catholic Schools Week from your perspective. Catholic Schools Week uh, is very important. Uh, Catholic education is very important. Uh, as a previous member of this school and having a daughter in school here now, I can tell you that Catholic education helps to provide our students with a call to service. And that can be an example of helping those in their community, in their church, in our nation. And that is very important for them to learn. 
So our schedule for Catholic Schools Week is uh, pretty packed. We don't have it completely set yet, uh, but we kick things off actually on Saturday night, uh, the 24th. We'll have a uh, chili and trivia night, which is for the parish, but we've also got the book fair. Uh, and that's a big part of, uh, exciting part for the students, the opportunity to buy different books through Scholastics. Uh, and so we really kick off those Sunday morning, uh, the 25th. Uh, with the 10 a.m. Mass. The students come to Mass and fulfill most of the ministries there. Uh, the teachers are all there. They have the book fair after where, afterwards and uh, coffee and donuts. The school will be open uh, for members of the parish to get a chance to come through and see. We've done a lot of great work this year, lots of volunteers. Walls have been painted. The, the room we're sitting in right now is our newly uh, reestablished library. It was moved from downstairs. This room was completely redone. Uh, everything from curtains to, uh, to the sideboards, to the tables, to the bookshelves shelves uh, to the books themselves. Uh, so we're really excited about that. And so people have an opportunity to take a look at that. Uh, Monday of Catholic Schools Week uh, for community uh, is our, our, our dinner. We have a big dinner for lunch. Uh, our parents and grandparents and prayer partners and just friends of the school come in. Um, and uh, we're excited about that day. We're going to ask the students to, uh, to dress in their Sunday best for that day uh, to look really nice. And so we're excited for that. Uh, as Philip mentioned on Tuesday, uh, along with some other uh, the ideas that Student Council has, we we will have uh, roller skating. That's a tradition of ours that the home and school supports and sponsors. Uh, Wednesday the 28th, uh, for faith, of course, we always have mass here at the Catholic school on Wednesdays and Fridays and other special days. And so those will be special occasions of celebration for us because it's Catholic Schools Week. Uh, but also it ends up being with our snow day uh, here recently, it ends up being our 100th day of school. Uh, part of our services on our spirit day, uh, the children bring some sort of a donation for the food pantry. And on that day, we're hoping to collect 100 cans of food on our 100th day of school uh, to give to the emergency food pantry. So that's part of our goal for that day. Uh, Thursday, uh, is uh, we'll have some themes set up for the school itself. Probably that'll be Bible Character Day, but we have to work on some of those exact schedules yet. Uh, but that afternoon, we're excited to have a read-in. Uh, that'll be held here in the school and uh, be our kind of our grand opening of our library. Library. And so the, uh, as it were, the entrance fee for the read-in is to bring a, a book to donate for our library. And so that'll be from 3 to, I believe, 7 p.m. Uh, that evening. Uh, and then, of course, we'll have lots of activities on January 30th as well. Uh, this is the 90th anniversary of our school, and so we also are encouraging alumni. Uh, it's, it's a way to raise a little bit of money, but also raise awareness through the years. You might see behind us there's a door. That door normally hangs downstairs in the main hallway, uh, and, and we've been collecting signatures on that door of any alumni that would like to sign it, uh, and we'll clear coat that at the end of the year of our 90th year, and we'll hang that back up, and students will be able to see the names of, of students who have gone here before them and uh, look forward to a life of success as they have. And so we're just really excited to celebrate Catholic Schools Week, to have the opportunity to celebrate our faith and to live out our faith uh, in communities, in, in faith, and in service. And as I mentioned, the theme for Catholic Schools Week is communities, faith, and service. Uh, one of the things we feel strongly about is providing this type of background and educational setting for our students, uh, but really anybody who'd like this kind of background for their student is welcome to come. And we have several non-Catholic students here, and we welcome them, and they become part of our family here uh, at ICS, and we're happy to do that as part of the extension of our ability to help with the community and provide this type of educational background for those who would like it.